Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. The wind is kind of kicking up and off and on, so I'm not sure if I'm going to do this video outside or not. At the moment, it doesn't seem to be blowing. So, uh, all the snow is now gone. So, that's nice. <laughs> that's one of the things I, I will tell you what. Since I have moved to West Virginia, one of the things I love about down here, when we do get snow, uh, it comes in, it snows, then the sun comes back out a couple days later, and it melts everything, and it's all gone again. So uh, that is absolutely one of the things that I absolutely love about down here, that that's what it does. So that's a nice thing. <laughs> Beautiful day. Sorry, the sky here. Very nice and clear. Uh, I'm, we could check the panels. Let's see where uh, the solar is at. I'm very curious, actually. It's probably 100%, I, I would imagine, or close to it. We'll have plenty of days of uh, not nice weather, I'm sure. So, all right. So I wanted to talk about today real quick, guys. Uh, these CMEs that are coming in from the sun. And I guess some like, huge black hole opened up in the sun as well. And, uh, or a sunspot they call them, I think is what they call them. And uh, just pretty wild, uh, actually. And uh, with, with these CMEs, what can happen with it? And other ones picking back up. Uh, what can happen with that, you know? And uh, if you study history at all, you'll look back at the Carrington event. I think it was like 1815. Watch out, baby girl. Uh, that there was a major CME. Oh, okay. I'll show you guys this. 98% in charging. So we are almost to that 100%, which the last, uh, on the batteries, that last 10% is what takes the longest because then it's in a stabilization mode. And so that last 10% always takes a little bit longer um, to get going. All right, so, uh, you know, that's, that's what happens with that. But... Uh, so I'm not going to complain with it being at 98%. It'll be at 100% by the time the day is done. Uh, so that's a good thing too. Um, anyway, so with the CMEs, the Carrington event, it hit, um, disrupted like the telephone line or the um, telegraph lines and stuff like that because that was like the electronics that we had um, then and it fried everything. Uh, we've had a couple of events, you know, here in the States uh, and in Canada where power's been kicked out because of events but a major event like the carrington event now with the electronics that we have now uh, would be absolutely devastating uh, it's basically like uh you know they talk about the uh electromagnetic pulse right the um when you have with a nuclear one it you know kills all everything but a cme coming off the sun is not you know targeting one country it could hit everything so it could kill all the power fry everything all over the world uh and you know that you know once it hits like the power grid it would just surge through that whole thing and just really make a big old mess of everything and we would be definitely down uh, with no power uh, for a very, very long time. It would take them a tremendous amount of time to get things back up and working and, and that type of thing. So those are things that people really should be concerned about. They should be thinking about that because those things can truly happen. Uh, and not a pleasant thing. Not a pleasant thing at all. And that sun feels really, really good today. So, anyway, uh, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Do you think that, uh, you know, these things are things to be concerned about, or is it, you know, nothing to be worried about, and what, what, do you, what are your thoughts on it? Um, you know, I've studied it a little bit, and it's definitely 
something to keep an eye on. <laughs> you know, uh, if you can protect stuff, then you can protect it. There's definitely ways to do that. And uh, so, you know, hopefully that you don't have an issue personally. But, uh, you know, like I, they, the event that we had here with the uh, lightning strike, I mean, that power surge that fried, you know, my charge controller, my inverter, uh, took out a couple of plugs, uh, took out my thermostat in the camper, all those things. And uh, so got a new thermostat in there and everything is working fine now. But that power surge like that can really do some serious, serious damage, uh, which is not fun at all. And so, you know, those are, like I said, those are unforeseen events that you really can't plan for. Um, when they happen, you just go, oh, crap, here we go. And uh, what are you doing, baby? Huh? What are you getting in your eye? I've got Miss Hella here right next to me, of course. But uh, so, all right, there we go. We got it. All right. She had a little something in her eye. So last night, I got to tell you this one. So uh, cats were out last night, which is not unusual. And uh, when I got up this morning, I opened up the door to the camper, and they're usually right there, right there, ready to come in, eat, you know, because they've been out catting and doing everything they're going to do all night. And I look over at the pavilion, and the door was shut. And I said to myself, I will bet you they got locked in that pavilion. And... Uh, Open the door to the pavilion, and sure enough, both of them come flying out of there. So, you know, that it's all part of it, too. You know, those things happen. But uh, they were happy to get in and eat, and they're actually inside sleeping right now. So, getting ready for the next round. But, uh, you know, the wind was definitely kicking around last night. But, uh, beautiful day today. Um, I'm going to work on the doghouse tomorrow that's my game plan is to get that done tomorrow and uh and kind of go from there because it's like it's it's going to be even warmer tomorrow so like if i get up in the morning it's going to be actually warmer in the morning so that i can do it while you know at, at that time of the day and uh and i'll get things going and I'll, I'll do a video on that i'll show you guys what i'm doing what the game plan is with that and we'll kind of go from there but, uh, yeah, you know, we'll get that all squared away, and they will be good to go. So, anyway, guys, um, keep rocking away, keep prepping, keep taking care of your business. The future is unknown. We don't know what's going to happen, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, please keep prepping, all right? Uh, live stream tonight, 6 o'clock for hardcore members. That is going to be 6 p.m. If you would like to join us for that, Go to my main page, hit the join button, become a hardcore member, and you can join us in that live stream. 8 o'clock for everybody else, I will be live streaming, so I'd encourage you to join us then, and we'll talk about some stuff. All right? Have a great night, everyone. I will talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Oh, there's a helicopter. I heard it. So before I jump off, I'll just show you that you can see it flying. It'll come out over here, right there. Yeah, so I heard that. I knew. I'm like, okay. There's the helicopter. All right, guys. Later.